With over 6 billion human beings in the world today, man is an extremely successful animal. Just over 3 million years ago, the first ape in Africa began to walk on two legs, the first step on the long road to civilization. For much of the past 3 million years, several human species have lived side by side. Evolution is always it's the history of losing in order to gain novelty and uh, we have lost a lot during hominid evolution. We have lost almost all species except one. So we cannot even imagine what this means in terms of cultural diversity, in terms of morphological diversity. Finding out what our distant relatives may have looked like is a huge challenge. Fragments of hominid fossils are extremely rare and fragile. By pooling their knowledge of computer technology and paleoanthropology, Christopher Zolikofer and his team have become world experts in the computer-assisted reconstruction of ancient fossils, which has revolutionized research into human evolution. Typically we start with a fragment or several fragments which are put into a computer tomograph where we slice it up into electronic slices, digital slices, which are then recomposed on the computer into a virtual object. We can chip away a sediment from a fossil in virtual reality. We can put together fragments to recreate its original morphology. We can take measurements in three dimensions. And last but not least, we can also put soft tissue, let's say on a Neanderthal face, just by morphing modern data sets from modern humans onto the Neanderthal skeletal phase in order to, gen to generate a fleshed out phase. Once a species has been virtually reconstructed, it can be compared with others to analyse its evolution and origins. Here the researchers can make use of the university's valuable collection of primate skeletons and fossils, from apes to humans, which dates back to the beginning of the 20th century. The Zurich researchers are increasingly being asked to rebuild virtual models of ancient fossils and have recently been involved in a series of high-profile projects, including Tumai, claimed to be mankind's earliest ancestor. When we first saw it, we didn't believe that the brain case and the face of this fossil belonged together. So it's a creature beyond imagination. And that's the fascinating thing about science. You come to conclusions that you don't expect. We still have lots of gaps in our evolutionary history. But thanks to research by the Zurich team, we have managed to learn a great deal more about the growth and development of our evolutionary cousin, the Neanderthal. This is amazing if you think of evolution, that you have let's, something like a parallel evolution of two species that generate high cultural diversity, let's say from burial to cannibalism. You have everything in Neanderthals and in our own species. And that this happened two times in evolution, and that we could shake hands 20,000 years ago. 